Hello people, I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Char Kirk. Hello. We're doing a Carrie Minotti video today. This is called Indian Kid Meets Tom Cruise. Thank you, Carrie Minotti, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciated. Very much looking forward to this. I enjoyed the last video that we reacted to of yours, and so it makes me look forward to this even more. You guys, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit all notifications so you get notified every time we drop another video. Helps us out a lot. Really appreciate it. All right, here we go. So, how are you guys? Today's journey is going to be very different. Because I was in Paris for a few days ago, I was in Paris for a few days. Yes, that's where you are from, Minar Kababa. Eiffel Tower is still there. So, our Tom's new movie is coming, Mission Impossible Fallout. मैंने कास्ट के कुछ सदस्यों के साथ वार्तालाप किया अब मैं तुम्हें पहले बता दूं ये सारी बातें इंग्लिश में है तो जिन्हें नहीं आती कि भी इंग्लिश सबको आती है सबको नहीं आती लक्ष्मण इसलिए सब टाइटल दिए हैं खैर आओ सबसे पहले चलते हैं हमारे इस जनरेशन के सर्वशक्तिशाली योद्धा सुपरमैन ए के ए हेनरी कैविल पे जो इस मूवी में अगस्त वॉकर का किरदार निभाते हैं so I have watched the movie. I watched it yesterday. Yep. I thought you were so amazing. That washroom scene when you were like, <laughs> <laughs> so good. I got so hyped up. I was jumping down on my seat. I was like, I need someone to punch. Then I asked him, Henry, tell me about your character. So what is your character about? What is his aim basically? Okay, my character is, his name is August, August Walker, Walker yeah. and he is a member of the CIA, but he is the CIA, he is their number one guy if you need someone dead. <laughs> if you absolutely <laughs> need to be sure someone is dead, you call August Walker. Hello, August, brother, tell me. Look, when we go to our clothes, our clothes are going to be out of our clothes. We don't like to see our clothes. We don't like to do anything. I 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 don't like to do anything. Chai, Peter, France. I don't like to do anything. Then I asked him, Henry, how much time do you do to make a dole and dole? You obviously work out a lot. Right, so how much time do you think I need to get a physique like yours? Um, I would give you, I mean, obviously with height differences and everything, I would say <laughs> you could probably get to something similar to me uh, within <laughs> six or seven months of continuous work. Really? <laughs> I don't buy that. I'd say a year and a half. That's hard work, man. A few steroids in seven months. The difficult thing is keeping it. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Now we come to Rebecca Ferguson, who is the leader of the Ilsa Frost. She is so beautiful that in the first minute, I was just watching. Okay, so My name is Ajay. I'm Hi. from India. I'm from Sweden. Oh. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Namaste. Oh, you're so calm. <laughs> I'm in a room. <laughs> By the way, looking gorgeous. Thank you. So, I was so complimenting you as well. Oh, you're yeah. Beautiful. It's so in the Western. Mm. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get this started. <laughs> How similar are you to your character, Elsa Frost? Extremely similar. I go out and I find bad guys and I whip my legs around them and you know, then I sit and have a cappuccino. <laughs> so like a underground night superhero I am. that goes I am. out and fights crime. Mother at day, spy at night. But do you kill? Well, I don't kill and tell. Now we come to Simon Pegg, who is the king of Benji Dunn. What the hell is he doing? I find it best not to look. My name is Ajay. I'm from India and uh -huh. we, in India we that's how we greet. We say namaste. Namaste. And some people, I don't know why, they start dabbing after that. I don't know. <laughs> it's a new move. We yeah, we do namaste it. and then we'll do this. I don't know why they do it. Me neither. <laughs> Who do you think is the most fun person to shoot with, like, ever in the whole cast of MI6? Well, I mean, it, it's got to be Tom, really, because Tom's the lead. You know, he, he takes us on all these adventures. We wind up 
you know, in all these different places with him, because of him, because of Mission Impossible and the decisions he's made as an actor and a producer. So, you know, Tom is, and Rebecca and me have a lot of fun together, but we have fun having fun with him. You know, we're just sat there kind of like, where are we going now? <laughs> you know, we call it TC World. Where are we going to go in TC World today? Is, yeah, TC Tom is, Cruise World. Oh, okay, a lot of There's a shop well. in the UK, a store, a computer store called PC World. So, and the, 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 the logo for that in the commercial is, where in the world, PC world. So we all say that, but with TC world. Um, so yeah, I'd say Tom. Then I asked him, I've done everything in Mission Impossible before. Now, how will Tom Cruise do this? He's going to have to jump off the moon or something. It's kind of, uh, it's just a bit. It'll be amazing to see you guys jump off the moon. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. Into the yeah, burn up in the atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tom won't burn now, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> फिर मैंने वार्तालाप की मिशन इम्पॉसिबल फॉलोअप के डायरेक्टर क्रिस्टोफर मेक्वेरी के साथ आस्क यू कुड यू पॉसिबली टेल मी वॉट वॉज द मोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल स्टंट एट यू मेड पॉसिबल इन मिशन इम्पॉसिबल फॉलोअप द मोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल स्टंट दैट वी मेड पॉसिबल इट वुड प्रॉबेबली हैव टू बी दिलीकॉप्टर चेस दर्क दैट वेन इन टू दैट Uh, and the time yeah. that we had to prepare yeah, for it, it we were told time and again that that could not be done, and and Tom pulled it off. So Every I want to ask this question. It might be silly, a little bit silly. Yeah. <laughs> What editing software do you use? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I work with uh, Eddie Hamilton, who uses Avid editing software. I've uh-huh. not even heard of it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's it's pretty much the industry standard. That's oh the, yeah. We've always worked on Avid. Yes, sir. After that, there was a red carpet event where he was. जिसका मुझे सबसे ज्यादा इंतजार था जैसे ही उनका हाथ मेरे हाथ में गया ना मेरे दिमाग में You've been playing Ethan for Ethan and for such a long time. Before you were born. Yeah. <laughs> before you were born. Before I was born. Yes. Yeah. So it's been more than twenty plus years. So why making so many movies? How how many bones were uh, broke? <laughs> making you know I've, I've broken a few bones just even outside of Mission Impossible since I was a little kid because I was always doing crazy stuff as a kid. You know? Jumping off roofs into the snow. I broke my leg. I broke my nose a couple of times. Wow! Fingers. You know, I've never, I've never counted all the bones, but I've, I've broken a few. Hello, jump is eleven. Thank you, man. That was fun. That was so much fun. Thank you so much. It's so great to see you. Great to see you, man. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, please. Aww. It's really nice. So lovely. I feel yeah. like I want to cry. The music too. I'm just like, ah. Yeah, well. I wonder why he's So yaar ye thi meri aaj ki amar chit katha agar tum logo ko pasand aaye to yaar like maro mere liye nahi to yaar Tom bhai sahab ke liye like maro We're getting subtitles so okay. just, we're just watching him act wild well, yeah. yeah he's so animated when he's Carrie Minati but when he's just a J I mean he's still animated but it's just like a little bit you know It's fun Yeah, I, I, I like I, it. I, I, he's got a good energy to him. Tom Cruise. I've heard all kinds of interesting accounts. I'm uh, mostly positive. Everything re- re- regarding Tom Cruise is positive in some light. Everyone who I've heard has spoken to him, worked with him, is generally it's all favorable stuff. Like he's just really, really nice. Yeah, um, he seems that way. The short version of this is there's a, fr- a friend of mine who still does sound, but he had to do sound for a Tom Cruise interview. What happened was he had just my friend had just finished his black belt test, so his hand was busted because. His hand was busted. That's just the short version. I'm trying to keep this simple. So he's having to like work with cables and stuff like that. And Tom Cruise looks over and sees his hand and goes, "What happened to your hand?" And this is Tom Cruise, and there's like a limited time that they have with Tom Cruise to uh-huh. do this interview. And he goes, "Oh, I, 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 I did a martial arts test." He goes, "Oh, I did martial arts too." And then he starts talking about him doing martial arts and whatnot and chatting with my buddy for like a good minute and a half. And he's and just like everyone, oh my God. everyone in the room is silent and just kind of stressed because they're like short on time. Uh-huh. But it's Tom. Were you, what are you going to tell Tom Cruise yeah, to wrap like, it up? Yeah, uh, like, sorry, Tom. You, yeah. you, let's move on. Yeah, no, now. but he's but he's like that. He's just a very nice guy a lot a lot of warmth yeah you, know? you definitely felt like the the interaction he had 
with a J. Like yeah. he was just so genuine and just very present. Yeah. I felt the warmth coming from him. Like when when he said, "Oh, I've been watching you since I was eight years old." I think he was just like, "Oh, wow, thanks, man." You know, like. Yeah. yeah no, he, he, so much love for him. He very much seems appreciative of people. As weird as he is, as crazy as he is, yeah. <laughs> you know, setting aside certain conversations, he's just a very, very warm dude, and like, you gotta hand it to him. He's like yeah. one of the nicest people. I've heard weird stories too, mm -hmm. and I've seen weird things uh, regarding him. I feel like you gotta give him credit for being one of the boldest performers on yeah. camera, number one, and then being super nice after the fact, you know, with meeting people like that, what you saw there is how he always is with people. As far as I know, he's always nice to people. Him and, and Keanu Reeves and, well, my experience with Robin Williams before he passed away, they're up there as like the nicest celebrities that you could possibly meet. They know that they wouldn't be where they are without their fans. Right. You know, so it's it's so crucial. I guess it's just part of his char charisma and charm as well. He's like a beaming light, you know? Yeah. So. Like everybody wants to be around Tom. It's, it's like what uh, Simon Pegg was saying, you know, like, where are we gonna go next in TC world? Like right. he's just so out there and exciting and fun to be around. Everyone's just there for the ride. I'm not a huge fan of Henry Cavill uh, as an actor, mm -hmm. but I'm a huge fan of him as a person as yeah. far as he goes when it comes to interviews and talking to him. Because we met him at the Justice League was it Justice League? Yeah, Justice League. Uh, the Justice Party. League premiere, and he was really nice. Our exchange was very simple and quick, mm -hmm. but the fact that he gave us his time like that was very kind of him, because a lot of celebrities dipped out. Gal Gadot bounced, Ben Affleck bounced, but he stayed and he hung out and talked to people and took photos with people. He's very, very nice. Wore his mustache. <laughs> I thought that was a weird move, but I guess he had to have it on because of this film. You know, but, he didn't even have a bodyguard that I could see, or like no one was around him going, excuse he's Superman. me, no pictures. I know, right? <laughs> but, he's Superman. But, so, the, the thing about it is he's a massive dude. He's like, he's a big guy. Yeah. And Jason Momoa has a guy. Jason he's a Momoa. big guy too. Yeah, Jason Momoa. But yeah, anyway, like, <laughs> but Henry Cavill is just, I wish that his personality when you just talk to him was his personality on camera. Yeah. Because he seems very stilted when he's on camera, when he's like whatever. But like, as you see in this interview, he's just nice. Yeah. And <laughs> I love know. that he was giving like real serious thought. Like he was really looking at Ajay and yeah. going, mm, yeah, I think like six to seven I, I months. Think, I think I think I think he's being too optimistic there. Yeah. Because what you get in the beginning are something called newbie gains, and so you get these massive gains at the front. But then, like as you go on, it just it takes time to really build up mass. You you don't build it like that. It takes a lot of it t well a lot of protein and and consistent exercise for I'd say at least a year year and a half before you can hit Henry Cavill's. But maybe he's thinking about like hit the way he trains. He probably trains all day, every day. It's it's dedicated to sure. his physique, his fitness, and everything. Whereas most of us, we're like, yeah, we've got maybe tops an hour and a half, two hours on a good day, but like realistically, maybe an hour to fit in all this stuff. And then you've got meal prep and. It's, it's a lot of work to get that body, you know? The other celebrities they interviewed here were not as enthusiastic about being interviewed. And I imagine it's always the same deal. Like, they're just exhausted from, yeah. being, from talking to so many people. But then you see Tom Cruise, who is constantly bombarded wherever he goes, who's constantly having to talk to people, and is always on. That's and, why he's and, Tom Cruise, though. Right. And I suppose it has to do with just the kind of energy that you just have, like, in yeah. general. Because, like, my cousin Matt, for instance, who watches my videos sometimes, he is constantly at an 11, <laughs> yeah. just constantly. He's you know, a little bit more tame now because he's got a kid, but like he's just constantly at an 11. He has that Tom Cruise energy. He's just always very friendly, very nice, very enthusiastic <laughs> about things. Eyes always like bulging out of his head because he's just excited about whatever it is that you, you guys can do together next. So what I'm saying is like Simon Pegg and, and you know, who, who's the what name of the actress? Uh, the Swedish Rebecca actress? Rebecca Frost. Or, yeah, Rebecca uh, Frost. Faust? So like her, both him, her and Simon Pegg, probably aren't just cut from the same cloth as Tom Cruise. Like, they're just normal. They're just <laughs> so, chill, yeah. And so you throw a normal person into these scenarios where they have to constantly interview people and, and be asked the same questions over and over again. You kind of lose your mind a little bit. They're giving, like, the bare minimum energy they can possibly give. I'm sure Tom Cruise's schedule is more grueling, and he still has a smile, and he's still very warm yes. and friendly. Yeah. And he acts like your pal. I wish I had the Tom Cruise energy. I mean, I don't know. Maybe someday. We'll see. <laughs> Only time will tell. Once the uh, quarantine is lifted in about two years, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see <laughs> we'll how know. it all goes. All right, yeah. you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Carrie Minotti, for allowing us to react. It's a great job on this vlog. I thought it was, I mean, from what I 
was able to decipher, because well, not all things were subtitled here. Uh, I thought it was a great vlog. It was nice and quick and to the point and, and had a nice energy to it. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. And uh, I look forward to seeing more stuff, man. So, uh, yep, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out Achari Kirk on the social media and the jabs if you feel like doing that. Got goofy photos and videos posted from time to time that are completely separate from our YouTube stuff. So, I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.